Well, no thunderstorm, but it is raining. And you know what that means. What up, players? Subscribe! Night Lords! Night Lords! What up, players? Warbot's tape in this mud, and I'm gonna do a Night Lords painting tutorial, the first of its kind. Uh, ever on my channel, a tutorial on how to paint something. So, I've got my Lightning Clawed What's Up Night Lord Terminators. So named because they all look like they're saying, Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It all looks like they're going in for the high five. The lightning high five. Alright, so I primed them with uh, dark gray. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to base coat and paint on Necron Abyss onto all of the exposed, or all of the, um, the hard, flat armor plates. So let's take a look at my finished guy. The dark blue, anything you see is dark blue armor plates is going to be that Necron Abyss color. Okay, so I'll see you when we're done with those. Night Lords! Okay, as you can see, we put down our base color of Regal Blue onto all of the armor plates. And don't worry about... I'm sorry, not Regal Blue. What am I talking about? Necron Abyss. So, it's a Citadel Foundation color. And again, I'm using all GW Citadel Foundation... Uh, not Foundation, but Citadel Colors. Because that's all I've got. <coughs> but... As I was saying, don't be afraid and ashamed of, you know, messing up and getting some outside of the lines. We're going to fix all that up. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to highlight with Rego Blue. And this is going to go anywhere where you imagine the, the light to be hitting your model. So I, I've seen some great examples of Night Lords done as if they were going through a spaceship or a dark hallway and it's really dark so there's like really minimal highlighting but if you take a look at my completed guy the regal blue is the highlight is pretty much blended into all of the uh... In, into the necron abyss so that so that it doesn't make a very dark bright highlight and that's kind of what you want because the night lords are so dark and evil, you don't want the the regal blue to be a very stark contrast to that. that. That's what the lightning is for. That's what the edge highlights are for. Okay, so so just take a little bit of your regal blue and paint it up in the center. Leave the, the Necron Abyss in the in the dark uh, in the in the recesses of your model. Okay, we'll see you back when that's done. Alright, now that we've got the armor plate done, we're going to go to the next exciting thing and get working on the metals. So the first thing is we need to put a base coat for our gold because the Games Workshop gold colors are so um, splotchy, they have a tendency to, to not hold well, and I still got paint on my thumb from last video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Talcept Tal Ochre Foundation color. We're going to apply it to anything on the model that is gold. So take a look at my finished Terminator. Yes, look at me. Look at me, I'm so beautiful. I'm so beautiful. And look at everything that's gold on him from the shoulder plates, the edging of his armor, to the, the chaos icon, to the details on his power fist. and see the, the edging of his, the inside of the power fist as well. You want to get everything so that no matter what angle your model is turned or how high above the battlefield he is, he will look right proper. 
Okay, and don't worry about the inside of the power fist because we'll get those bits when we paint the power fist metallics on. So just get the, the gold, anything that you want to be gold on your model. Um, I think my Terminator model here has this piece on his helmet. The one I'm painting right now is a skull. So find anything that you want to be gold and you paint it Talcept Ochre. Okay, see you when that's done. Okay, now this is what your model should look like. He's got the blue, he's got the yellow. If you make any mistakes with the yellow onto the blue armor, just touch it up with some Rego blue. Should cover it up just fine. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to paint up the silver parts. And this is going to take some bolt gun metal. And let's take a look again at our finished model, what we're going to paint metal. So the power claw, any metal bits, I keep saying power claw, but it's really lightning claws. Um, any metal parts of the lightning claws, except for the black under padding right over there. That is gonna, we're gonna paint in black in just a little while, but any metal parts, like the lightning claw, nubbins, workings, and these uh, bolts by the shoulder, by the elbow joint, the back grill, and the back exhaust, and any chains, like these that are hanging down, and what else we've got that are metal. Chains, and I think that's it. So bolt gun metal, and we'll see you when that's done. Oh, also, I just saw, I think, right there in the helmet, by the side, he's got two more bolts in the sides of the helmets. So those will be bolt gun metal. Okay, see you when that's done. Okay, so our silver been painted in, the joints, the bolts in the helmet, I mean the screws or whatever those are, the chains hanging off of the waist, and the back exhaust vents, whatever those are. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cover the gold, or the, the Talcept Ochre in shining gold. And because our, po our lightning claws are now silver, we're also going to paint these little silver uh, bits in the lightning claw. So we cover the whole model, uh, anything that's in Talcept Ochre, in gold. Alright, we'll see you when it's done. So your Night Lord Terminator should be looking something like this. Very bright and shiny. So before we take him down, we're going to add one more thing, and that's the bone. So anything that's a bone, or a tusk, or a tooth, or a skull, you're going to paint in the Games Workshop foundation color, Deneb Stone. So one more time, let's take a look at our model. So the tusks on the helmet. The lightning claws have bones sticking out of them, talons, claws, whatever you want to call them, and any skulls or bony trophies hanging off of the belt or other parts of the model. And we'll see when that's done. Okay, so at this point your model should look something like this, blue, gold, and bone, and silver. And now you're going to dull all the colors down by applying a nice coat of Bad Dab Black. And you don't want to just splash it on the model, you want to apply it so that it goes into all the recesses and um, doesn't pool. You don't want big pools everywhere, you don't want to get too crazy with it, but you do want it to cover uh, every surface of the model, just to dull everything down and tie all the colors together. So we'll see you when that's done. Alright, all my budding Chaos Night Lords painters out there, this is the best time for me when all the colors get dark and dirty and tie themselves together because of the wash. So, as you can see, it, when it dries, you'll notice these sh uh, shadows in the armor. And that's 
going to be the look that we're going for. But for right now, we just got to let the wash dry. And then we'll be right back to this mini uh, in a little while. Okay, once the wash is dry, this is when you're going to start to notice where you've made mistakes before. And this is why it's so important to cover, to base coat the model first with uh, any gold bits with Talcept Ochre or some other foundation color because if you just go straight with the gold on the black primer, then you're going to see where w with the bad at black it's going to reveal all the, all the um, how thin the, the metallic paint is. You're going to find a lot of streaks and brush strokes and it's just not going to look like it's solid gold on, you know, the, the way you need it to be. Another thing you're going to notice with the wash is you're going to see where all the mold lines are that you missed before. And mainly I'm talking about the tusks, the sides of the tusks, because they're of the ridges, they are going to be really obvious with the black wash pooling in the recesses. So you're going to need to go in and clean those up right now. And it shouldn't be too hard. Just take a file or, you know, be really careful with a modeling knife if you're going to go that route. And just um, file down the, the edge so it doesn't have that glaring mold line on the side of the tusks. And then go back over it with Deneb Stone and another light wash of Bad Ab Black. This is also the time where you can find any gold, um, you know, mistakes you did in gold on the blue armor because the Bad Ab Black is really going to get into the recesses and show you the, the shading. So if you notice any mistakes, like here under this point of the star, I can see it when I turn. It's on the blue armor plate where it shouldn't be. Then this is when you go back with the detail brush and just put a little bit of regal blue in there. Okay, and once you're fine and there's no more mistakes, we'll get on to the highlighting. Alright, so this is what you guys should look like now with all of the mistakes fixed. And what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be highlighting the gold with burnished gold. So that should look like this. Or if you have the older style bottles, it'll be in there. But you want to just highlight, you don't want to highlight all the gold, just wherever the light hits the armor. So the uppermost part where the light glints off. You just want to hit it, hit those spots. You don't definitely don't want to get into the recesses where the bad black is pooled. And when you're done, you should look something like this. So don't don't just um, slap it on there. You want to go in thin coats and only where the light really hits it to give it that glint. Okay, we'll see you when that's done. Okay, one more thing I forgot to mention after you're done with the burnished gold, go ahead and also touch up all of the armor plates with regal blue, anything that the, the light touches. So, as you can see, I left the underside of this left shoulder plate, I left most of the leg plates dark, but anything where the light touches, like the back plate, the, the helmet, you're going to touch up with a little bit of regal blue. And the next step is going to be a highlight. And this highlight is going to be shadow gray. And this highlight will bring out a little bit of the color in your Terminator. And you only want to do the face, the, the, the mask on the head, I mean, and the plates on the side of the legs. You can see those just on the edge. You just want to hit the edges of those with your brush. And also you want to do, the last part is the sides of his back part of his armor. Okay? And when you're done with that, you should, you should start being able to see the definitions. Shadow gray. Okay, so we highlighted up the helmet and the edges on the, the different parts of the plates that have hard edges. And now we're going to add a little bit of Space Wolf's Gray to the Shadow Gray, and we're going to, again, hit the very top ridges and corners of these plates so that it should look like this when you're done. You notice just the top corners and the very hardest edges so that the eye is naturally drawn to those edges. You leave the others only Shadow Gray 
so that it makes a great um, contrast and gradual uh, blend back to the base color, which is the regal blue. Okay, see you when we're done with that. All right, so there's our finished mask. The last thing we're going to do is, one of the last things we're going to do is we're going to paint the bones back up, which we've left with a little bit of that black shading since we used the bad at black. We're going to paint them back up with uh, Deneb Stone. Go really lightly, maybe even dry brush the tusks really, really lightly because you still want to keep those uh, lines of, you know, the different textures of the, the tusks in the helmet. And also go with any other bone. Go very lightly over the, the uh, claws and, and, and talons and skulls so that they still look very dark. Okay, so again, that's Deneb Stone. All right, now we get to the fun part, the lightning claws. I found the technique to do these lightning claws off Katata Fish's website. So go to there because I don't want to repeat it and claim it as my own. And pause my video and come back when you're done with the lightning claws. Okay, see you then. Now that our lightning claws are done, the end is almost in sight. We are going to paint the eye lenses now. So you're going to start with a base of dark flesh. Then you're going to paint in the close towards where the nose is, the inner part of the eye lens. You're going to paint those with blood red. Then you're going to put a dot of skull white in the upper corners. And then you're going to use some gloss varnish to make it shine, hard coat. So this is the effect that you want to go for. It's shiny. There's a little dot of skull white in the corner. Then it looks like it's getting brighter. The red is getting brighter the closer towards the nose it goes. Closer towards the nose it goes. Okay, so we'll see you when that's done. Once your eyes are done, since we've got the reds out, we're going to paint the wiring, not the bands that are holding the bundles of wire together, but the wiring that leads from the shoulder to the lightning claws. We're going to paint those dark flesh, and then highlight uh, with blood red. Yeah. So it should look like this. It's a little dark because I think I gave it a, li a light uh, coat of bad ad black. And the last thing that's going to be red for a spot color is this wire by the foot. And I think it's the right, no, could be the left. Yeah. I guess it's different for every Terminator, but same thing, dark flesh and then blood red. You can do what I do and wash the bundles of coil, the coiled wire with Bad Ab Black to soften it. And also, let's, we might as well do the lightning bolt as well. <laughs> so we're doing three things now. We're painting all the reds and that's the bundles of wire, the wire that leads to the boot. And let's also do this last lightning bolt, first in ice blue, and then with skull white. Okay, and you can find your own design or do anything you want, but that'll be on the back plate right there. See you when that's done. We are just about done with our Terminator, and he looks really good. The last thing to do is paint up the winged what is this, canine or oxen skull? So, the three colors that I used, or the four actually, are astronomic on gray for the skull, scab red for the wings, blood red to highlight, you see on the inside how I highlighted the wings, and s skull white to highlight the skull, and chaos black to black outline the skull. Okay, and this is just going to take practice. The great thing about Scab Red for the wings is that if you mess up, you can just go back with the Regal Blue and paint over and do it again. And when you get to the Blood Red, if you messed up, then the Blood Red will let you, will let you tighten that up, tighten up the, the, and, and form the shape that you really want. The Astronomicon Gray on the skull is great as a foundation paint because it it's nice and thick, so it covers really well. It doesn't, it doesn't streak and, um, and, and get all watery. You can get really good coverage with it. So that's the last piece of the Terminator to paint, so we'll see you when that's done. 
And there you have it. Second Terminator is done. Got the winged skull on his shoulder plate. The lightning on his back. All he needs now is some basing so that he'll match the first guy here. But I just wanted to show you the finished product. So now I've got two Terminators, Terminators done for my Lightning Claw Terminator pack of four. Probably going to add in some guys, maybe one with a chain fist or something crazy like that. But I hope you guys liked it and hope this Warboss tutorial was helpful to you. And hopefully you will get some inspiration. Like I said, go to Katata Fish to learn how to do these lightning claws. They're really fantastic, the tutorials he's got over there. And I, I didn't want to take credit for basically you know what he taught me to do. So check it out and make these lightning claws on your own. They're really great. And I hope this might have inspired you to maybe do your own Chaos Night Lords army or maybe if you've already got a different chaos army maybe to add these guys to your to your force maybe a little squad of them to to supplement the guys that you have because they're so evil even though it looks like all they want to do is give you a lightning claw high five high five bro hey bro high five up high up high bro all right man How's it going? You've been working out? Oh man, you look great, man. Down low, down low. Oh yeah, man. I've been, I've been pumping, pumping weights, pumping iron at the gym. Looking good for the girls, for the ladies. Oh yeah, and my, my hot blue Terminator armor. <laughs> uh, it's late.